So this is your girl, Tanika with the T, bringing to you the street tea, which is our new segment. We're taking our questions to the streets to get the most organic answers that you possibly can. Today, we are at the Brenner Brothers show and we are asking the question of the segment, what your definition of dating is. So I'm gonna ask these questions to a few individuals here and then we're gonna talk about it on our podcast coming up on the next episode of A Breath of Fresh Lives. Stay tuned. Hi, what's your name and where Hello, you from? Hello, I'm just Brittany and I'm from Houston, Texas. Artist, singer, entrepreneur, you know, all of that. And, and what's your IG where we can follow you? Queen Just Brittany, Q-U-E-E-N-J-U-S-T-B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y. Okay, real quick question. What's your definition of dating? Somebody who got some money. There you go, guys, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, I'm from Cincinnati, Stack Life 513, A-C-K, L-I-F-E 513. What's your definition of dating? Fuck boy proof, god damn. Dating? I mean, it is what it is. Right now, the, the women are the new males. Like, they moving like us, how we used to. Like, right now, you might knock a female, get cool with her. She got a dude that's going to pay the rent, pay the gas, pay for the food. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, she got somebody to just take her out and chill, buy her drinks. And that's how we used to move. So the game is reversed. So dating right now, if you if you, if you you single, you just got to be open to it. I mean, it's fair game. Women are moving like the males. This is, this is low. I'm sorry. This is how I go. Stack Life 513, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Nice to meet you, though. All right, y'all, make sure that y'all support the brother here. Representative 513, Chris Thomas, got to get extra love because he is from my city. Yo, Cincinnati, stand up. I love this gentleman's uh, response, though, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, when he mentioned the statement of women becoming the new males, he's not lying. <laughs> He's actually not lying. He's actually keeping it real. We have. And the reason why is because women have gotten, and this is my opinion, some women have gotten so tired of getting played and guys doing what they want to do. And so we decided to do it themselves. So anyway, <laughs> that's why we have decided to flip the script. And a lot of guys are not liking it. But it has not turned out well for the dating world. It's because now everybody is moving safe. And what that means is everybody is afraid of getting played. So now everybody is moving with a chip on their shoulder because nobody wants to become heartbroken. So what's your name and where are you from? My name is Phil from Jersey. Okay, Phil, what's your definition of dating? My definition of dating, you know, meeting a friend, you know, taking them out, getting to know one another, you know what I mean? Knowing them personally before anything. Catch the vibe of, you know, when their birthday is, go out, shopping a little bit, drinking, eating, movies, whatever, something simple. Do you prefer to date multiple? Just to kind of know, yeah, maybe, yeah, and they are more exclusive, like one person at a time. Uh, it all depends. Like, if I'm looking for that certain someone, I might just one person at a time, but if I'm just being friends, but still having date nights, then that's small too. I love the outfit. We have the wonderful, beautiful Tisha with us that is by way of South Carolina, and we're gonna ask her what her definition of dating is. So what's your definition? My definition of dating is just like going out, courting, you know, movie, dinner, show me a good time. Basically the things that you can keep up in a relationship. That's right. Getting to know me. Would you prefer to like date multiple people or exclusive or just one person? Um, I'm more of an exclusive person. Which I'm married, so I'm no longer dating. Congratulations. What's your name? My name's Slim. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Jersey too. Okay, Slim from Jersey. So what's your definition of dating? Um, it, it's it varies. Like, you know, if men and um, a man and a woman, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, y'all get together. If you you like you said, you hang out your friends with the possibility of, you know, Leave the possibility op open to you know what I mean to take it further. That's you know if you, if you just if you're just friends with someone and you don't plan on doing anything, then that wouldn't be dating, right? So do you prefer more exclusive or multiple? Again, it depends on the time where you are in your life. You know what I mean? Like if you were that at that age where you you've already done what you needed to do, 
as far as like your finance and your school or whatever, and you you want to take it further, like you want to get married or whatever, then you dating with the specific intent to for marriage. But then if you just you know having fun, you in your twenties and you still building your life, then you shouldn't worry about getting married. You should focus on building your life first, set up a strong foundation, then you know you can um, go for that. What is your name and where are you from? I'm Dante Huff from Texarkana, Texas. Okay, and where, what is your definition of dating? My definition of dating is uh, not just necessarily the title, but the bond that you guys have between each other, you know, the love that you already have to build to a marriage. Okay, so do you prefer to date multiple or just one person at a time? Uh, well, see, I'm a little bit of a player, but I still don't date multiple. But I do feel like in the talking stage, you can talk to multiple. But why are you dating just, just one? We've gotten a lot of guys give their opinions on the show, um, but I want to get some more women so that we can kind of even it out. Hey, how are you, ladies? What's your names and where are you from? Triana Johnson in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My name is Ari, and I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. Okay, Ari. Artist from Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Any ladies going in? Bria from Houston. Bria from Houston. You want to come on in? Are you from Milwaukee? All right, so I'm gonna ask you all one at a time. What's your definition of date? Um, <laughs> having a friend. <laughs> so you prefer one to date one person at a time? I mean, no, I could date maybe one, two. Depends on how I'm feeling. I, everybody, I use everybody for a certain thing. You know, you may only be good for this. You may be only be good for that, and that's just real. That's me. Definition of dating. Dating. My definition of dating is, I don't know. To be honest, one, person. one person. And I don't really have real relationships. Relationship? Hell no. <laughs> That's what she Hell no. Oh, okay. <laughs> These niggas be cheating. They ain't shit. They'll fuck your friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Come on in. Oh, no, you got him, little girl. He up there waiting on you being faithful in that hotel. She knows the definition. So, the definition of dating for me, I guess, is staying loyal to one person, you know, and just bobbing with that person, staying down, you know, is the most important. Also, I feel like you can kind of date as being friends, too, you know, just to get to know the person, um, taking time, just, you know, just bob with each other, you know. That's what I get to definitely. Yeah, gets to know each other. So that's my definition of dating. Okay, um, my definition of dating is when like, kind of how she said you vibing with somebody, but I think you can date multiple people. It just depends on if you're communicating with the person, if y'all being exclusive or not. Dating could be a matter of like just going out to different places and really like you know taking that time. That's why I said what I said. Look at that shirt, boo. 100% fuck boyfriend. <laughs> so we have gotten a lot of responses, a lot of opinions. I love it. There has been a no one answer, and I always say there is no right or wrong answer. All right, so come on in. Give me your name and where you from. Hi, my name is Shantae Glenn. I'm from Winter Haven, Florida. Hey, now, Shantae, we're asking a question. What's your definition of dating? My definition of dating? Yep. My definition of dating is you can date when you, when you actually said date dating is more than one person but when you're in a relationship it's just one person when you date you can go out with Brian tonight go out with Rob on Friday go out with John on Saturday that's dating So I'm going to continue reaching out and asking everybody what their opinions are and what their definition of dating is, because I love it. Hey, we got another gentleman here. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Roderick and I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina, what's your definition of dating? Come on back. Your definition of dating? dating. Yeah. Keeping it real, man, being honest. All right, and would you prefer to date one person or multiple? It's no right or wrong answer. Multiple, of course, but one is real. One is real life. So we've heard it from another gentleman what his definition of dating is, and we are going to keep it coming by asking different opinions of definitions of dating. What's your definition of dating? What's 
my definition of dating. Getting to know somebody, getting to know the, you know somebody that you're interested in. Would you prefer to date multiple or just one person at a time? Um, me personally, one person at a time. Okay. All right, so we heard it from yeah, another gentleman. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm not good at juggling, so I gotta focus on one girl at a time. Hopefully, it's, it's, it's but it can't. I can't. I can't have too much space. Like talk to her once a week or something like that. Cause I got short attention span, so she gotta. I at least gotta talk to her. At least like, at least once a day if we if, if we if we if we dating. Okay. What's your name Thank and you so where much. are you from? My name is Mangoes. I'm from Toronto. Okay. You already know, because dating is about commitment, like patience, and woo. If you don't have commitment and patience, you are not the right person to be dating. Because I know myself. <laughs> I'm not ready to be in no relationship because it takes so, so much of your, it takes time, money, stress, and I do not have time for that. So, dating is just, it's an illusion. Welcome back to our Street Tea segment. I'm here at Bronner Brothers in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm um, representing 100% fuckboy proof by our pod, by way of our podcast, A Breath of Fresh Lies. And the question that we are asking people today is what their definition of dating is. So we have gotten a lot of really good responses so far from guys and women. And there is no right or wrong answer to that question. It is based off of your own personal preference. And it is exciting to hear from both parties. So you guys stay tuned. And we are going to talk about this coming up on our next episode of A Breath of Fresh Lies. Dating gear. So what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Jeremy. I'm from Tampa, Florida. My definition of dating is complex, man, because uh, I'm more like a go with the flow type of guy. You know, like I like to feel it out. And a lot of times I'll feel it out. And in the process, she'll feel me before I feel her. And that pressure makes me back off. So like my dating is like a slow process. like. And would you prefer multiple or just one person at a time? Uh, either or, like, I would prefer one person because it's easier to focus. Like, I get distracted easy. I don't need all that extra, why you don't call me, why you ain't text me, why aren't we going anywhere, you know? Like, I like to keep it simple. <laughs> I agree. All right, so we've had two gentlemen <laughs> state that he would prefer to date one person at a time. I think that it is fair when a person is saying that they cannot juggle multiple people. I agree. Trying to remember names and conversations might be too complex for some. So if you are that type of person, multiple people may not be your thing. You might want to stick to one person. Hi, how are you? Hey, ladies. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Hi, baby. We at the Bronner Bros event, Atlanta. What's good? What what my name is T motherfucking Daily, and I came from Texas. Colleen, hey. Texas, baby. What's your definition of dating? Of daily? Dating. Dating? Dating. What's your definition of dating? Baby, on in, boo. if he ain't trying to let you know what's good, you ain't dating. The real nigga gonna keep it real. So at the end of the day, yeah. shit. What's your definition, definition of dating? dating? What's your name and where are you from? My name That's her last name. <laughs> My name is Nini. I'm from Killeen, Texas. And what is the definition of dating? That means he, you met his mama. You done met his mama and his sister, and that's the oh, you are the only one. And his mama lets you call him mama. Yes, it is. And the definition of dating is... You're dating probably two I'm to five people. Like, and no, you're I just testing the waters like, oh, to see hello. which one you want to be official with. And when you marry, when you marry is when you meet his mama, okay? All right, we got some good opinions going on here. You cannot get no realer than the street tea, folks. Not at all. So, stay tuned. Hey, my I'm Cam Cuz. We were really from Memphis, Tennessee. And what's your name? Uh, Hop the Barber on Instagram. All the way from Mississippi. You know how we do it. What's your definition of dating? Come on back. The definition of what? Of dating. A dating? Mm -hmm. Definition of dating. Uh. Dating. Yeah. Everybody gets stuck at that question. Loyalty. Loyalty. Definition of 
lawyers. You said a different definition of what? Of dating. Of dating. dating. Come on in. I had to, to say, get that bag together. I had to say loyalty, communication, you know what I'm saying? I understand them more than anything. The you main gotta, thing about it, if you ain't getting no bag together, you ain't going to yeah, work out. Got to come up together. Got to build each other. Want to go want money. One person or multiple people or one person at a time? Uh, right on me? Multiple. As many as it can be. I, 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 I say two. I say two. I say two. Multiple one real one. If I'm in a different <laughs> city, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> So super fly type, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you can't say you want to date multiple, but only they can date well, you just you. Saying, too, you know what I'm saying? We both can have a girlfriend, and, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, you know, for me. Yo! Yeah. You know, <laughs> That's fair. Hard, you know what I'm saying? I like, my, I, like, I like girls that like girls, you know what I'm saying? It's just me. I love the fact that when I ask a question, they get stuck and start laughing. Yep. You wanna know why they get stuck? It's cause that's a question that is not being asked on a daily basis, y'all. So stay tuned. <laughs> y'all, we gotta get this single world together. Cause y'all just see the definition of one guy. <laughs> this guy just sit there and say he wanna date multiple people, but the person he's dating, they only can date him. Now I don't know who the hell is in their right mind that's gonna do that. But come on over here. What's your name and where are you from? How you doing? How you doing? How's everybody out there doing? How you doing? My name is Van Campbell. Anybody know me by social media? It's Van the Goat. V A N D A G O A T. I'm from Philadelphia, PA, representing Babyliss Pro, Babyliss for Barbers. Uh, here in Atlanta, single or dating? You got caught me on a good one on that one. Definition of dating is um, being honest with yourself. You know, it's not just about the other person. If you're honest with yourself, and you're more sincere about the situation, I think that's the, the quality because a lot of people are always looking for the faults in the other people. If you find the faults in yourself, you know, it'll be good for when you're looking for a relationship because nobody's perfect. Would you prefer to date one person or multiple? Oh, one person. But, but if you are dating multiple, and I, I'm not suggesting that, be safe out here, definitely. Wrap it up. Tell me where you from in Toronto, Canada. Toronto, Canada. Toronto Represent. Is in the house. We're definitely in the house. Major Fade, follow me on Instagram. Okay, we got the logo there. And where you like from? Toronto, Toronto, Canada. Canada. In the building. Right here. 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 Right Dating? Dating, yes. Two, two people trying to get to know each other, bringing nothing but positive energy. And if it doesn't work out, it just doesn't work out. That's fair enough. What's your definition? When like turns to love. One person at a time. Simple. Love My it. definition of dating is tell it like it is. If you want to fuck me like a fuck boy, hey. tell me you want to fuck me. If you want to get to know me, tell me you want to know me on day one, on day one, so that I know what I want to do with you. If I want to fuck you, I'll tell you I'm going to fuck you and leave you. Just say it. Just be real. Just be real. That's my definition. One person or multiple? Multiple. I do it. Listen. Uh, there's, I do anything. Do you know what I mean? Options. Options. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Adrian. I'm from Toronto. Okay. And what's your definition of dating? You definition of dating, um, communication between you and other parties or party and taking the time to understand the other person. If you're going to date somebody, date them for real. If you're going to date multiple people, be open and honest about it, but take the time to know exactly what you want to do and what they want. And do you guys match? You know what I mean? Dating isn't a relationship. Dating isn't necessarily the relationship. It's more like the courting process. You see what I'm saying? So court the person and make them really see if it works. And if it, if it works, then you become committed. I love that. Nisha, so you're from Nashville? Yes. Let me ask you a question. What's your definition of dating? 
Um, he need to have some money and and uh, and a big Peter whack in his in his pants. One person, just one person. What's your name? My name is Fontania. Okay, what's your definition of dating? I'm stuck. Sex. Great sex. Yeah, great sex. <laughs> okay. My name is Natalie Jackson. Hey, what's your definition of dating? Of dating? Yep. <laughs> keep it 100 and keep it safe. Yes, definitely keep it safe, people. Alright, so we asked some questions today. Really quick, what's your definition of dating? My definition of dating is um, somebody that's cordially going out on a nice little dinner or so, whatever. You prefer to date multiple or one person at a time? One person. Gotcha. It's no right or wrong answer. What's going on? <laughs> the same question? Yep. Uh, dating. I mean, you're getting to know somebody. You, uh... Taking them out, courting them, I guess. One or multiple? One. Okay. And lastly, what's your definition of dating? I don't like to use the term dating. Okay, so what's your term? So my, in my opinion, I think that when two people want to get together, they should be constantly thinking about marriage. So, so you should be really vetting a person out for long-term relationship. Because what dating is to me is, it's like practicing divorce. Because oh, I don't like this person, so I, I'm going I'm to cut them, right? But if you think about it, all you're doing is setting yourself up. For, so when marriage comes, when you do like, oh, this is the person I want to spend my life with, when the storms come, you want to cut them, like you did while you was dating, instead of saying, no, it's a commitment. So to, to me, it's like you're supposed to be learning how to overcome all that stuff because when you love a person, it's not based upon, it shouldn't be based upon just how they look or just because they make me laugh or just what's happening. Because happiness is just that, just what's happening. It should be based upon, you know what? I desire to love you unconditionally. I desire to cover you. I desire to protect you. I desire to love you even when you're wrong. I desire to forgive you over and over and over again because that's what real love does I, I like that i he touched on some really really good points thank you very much for that street tea that is what it is about that's the whole purpose of this segment is to hear from the people themselves i always get my opinions on what i believe things should be but at the end of the day my opinion is my opinion but when I am bringing forth organic responses from the people themselves, you get to see it for yourself. <laughs> and I think for those that are single, you guys get to actually witness some of the shit that either you knew that was out there or some of y'all might be shocked by some of these responses. And at the end of the day, people are entitled to their own opinions. Your opinion is yours. Just make sure that whoever it is that you are with aligns with you. Yeah.